build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's your time. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. And stolen by Harris. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through. That's good. Harris has got 43 points. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Pistons. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort this defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Now it seems to me that they're taking a lot of pride in their rebounding tonight, especially at the offensive end, guys. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. He kicks it to Caldwell Pope. Back to Harris. It's Drummond, top of the key. He feeds it to Caldwell Pope. Here's Harris, six to shoot, and another three for Detroit. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results right now. Yeah, in fact, three of the last five makes are from beyond the York. Here's Grove. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that athletic play. Incredible. Wow. Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now it's when they need a little spark anyway. Some excellent numbers in this one for Harris. 46 points, and all the steals he's collected only add to his impressive stat line. Yeah, whether he's picking someone's pocket or picking off a pass, he has been causing some mayhem out there for sure. The Nets making a switch here. DeRozan's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Lopez against Drummond. Lopez, no luck. And this is why you need size inside. The ability to contest shots and force misses. Steve, that's exactly right. Even when you get in close, it's still a tough shot. Caldwell Pope kicks to Harris. Marries it from three-point lane. Harris has got 51. Well, they've really dominated on the glass. And, of course, they've done a lot of good things here tonight. But the rebounds have played a major factor. Hey, Steve, you know rebounding always one of the key barometers in determining the victory. Monroe, no good. Nets trail by 14. It's DeRozan with the drive. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Lopez, no luck. The Pistons have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. 17-foot shot on the way. And the Pistons getting another bucket right there. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? For Brooklyn, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth, though. Pretty nice efficiency there. Williams attacking. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. free throw is good. Boy, a perfect half at the free throw line for them. That'll help their comeback effort for real. Yeah, that's keeping them close. Uh, it's going to take a full effort here in the second half, but uh, they've got to continue to knock down these free throws. Now Harris dishes it to Caldwell Pope. Drummond with a screen on Williams and stolen by Darren Williams. Dish now to Lopez. DeRozan, DeRozan, DeRozan. On the wing, DeRozan. It's good from long range. DeRozan's got 18 points now here in the second half. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. Here is outside. Pass to Monroe. Goes up the baseline. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Here's Williams on the high post. And it's DeRozan missing. And it's Harris off the drive. Oh, 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 oh. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Well, that's another good rebound. It hasn't mattered at all that he's given up some inches to a few of the other guys on the floor. Hammers the alley-oop 
improve. And that's not supposed to happen. Come on now. You're not supposed to throw an alley-oop from that kind of distance. Come on. And then Clark to dunk it with authority. Man, wow. how about the communication between the teammates? That was an impressive display. Drummond with the block. And it's Harris off the drive. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Williams with a clean look. Another miss by Williams. Almost surprised that he had that much room to work with. Here's Harris. A Ben in and the lead. Harris has got 57 points. Shaky defense down low again. It's been a mismatch in the paint. I'm sure they didn't go into this one expecting to get battered like they have inside. And it's DeRozan missing. Detroit leading by 19. The three. Harris misses. Seems like he's gotten every single rebound today. Glass eating at its finest. I mean, you're not going to see a guy with 20-plus boards too often. That's an impressive number. Pass to DeRozan to stop the run. Rebound by Monroe. Tell you what, as well as he shot in the last quarter, Kevin, it's a total flip here in this one. You just can't get anything to go in the basket. Really good awareness right there on the assist. That's trail by 21. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. they got to find something right. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Detroit's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Harris against Williams, and it's Harris off the drive, and he uses both hands to jam it in. His finishes can be dazzling, especially Clark at his side. Well, you look at a guy who doesn't have the height of some other big-time dunkers, and it always looks better, and he certainly makes up for the lack of height with that athleticism. Yeah, his, his leaping ability is just off the charts. Guys. Yeah, the defender draped all over him. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. Lavoy Allen's checked in for Brooklyn. Jamar DeRozan hits them both. Pistons leading by 19. Harris with it. And Allen picks him up defensively. Back to Harris. DeRozan brings the double team. Just five on the clock. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. Well, they continue to find the open man and play unselfishly. This is true team basketball this year. All game long, guys, he's been getting it done. Really doing a nice job in the Yeah, I can agree with you more. I mean, they've had a major advantage on the glass dominating that stat. Williams dishes to Plumlee. But three. And it's DeRozan missing. The person shooting 56% in this game. Really stringing quality possessions together offensively. Here's Monroe. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And that's 18 points for Greg Monroe. I tell you what, fellas. We're seeing some really good ball movement out there. Yeah, well, 10 of the last 12 points have come off of assists. DeRozan's shot is good. Detroit with the ball. They're on a 16-6 run. And the jam by Harris. The rim right there. Just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Yeah, that is showtime stuff right there. Major highlight reel material. Shooting in Detroit. Harris. That's good from Harris. Brooklyn's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. On defense, the Pistons. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Puts one up from 19. That one a little long. Detroit's gone 3-4 from downtown here in the fourth. 
wide open. And Detroit again with the bucket. Now it's hard to imagine them not running away with this game if they can continue to shoot the ball like they have been. Steve, everything is falling for them this half, and they haven't had any empty possessions scoring on every trip. The Nets working the ball around now. Back to DeRozan. Allen inside. Monroe on him. Down to five on the shot clock. Kept alive. And another shot. And Allen with the layup. You know, that putback's about as easy as it's going to get. You, you have to put a body on someone down there. Well, no box out. That's the result you get right there. There's the lob to the hoop. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Williams passes to Allen. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Williams has got assist number eight here in this one already. Pistons leading by 22. Left side, Harris. Feeds it to Drummond. Lays it up and in on a nice reverse. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Um, that's a good strategy when you're on top. Hey, guys, with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who's watched it. I mean, just a total mismatch and a, a true show of strength. In the All right, it was a standout performance across the board. They were just, uh, at times, Marcus and toying with. Yeah, like watching a cat play with a mouse, Kevin, yeah. quite honestly. They were able to do more or less whatever they wanted to do. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And at key points in this game, they stayed committed to their brand of basketball. That's why they'll be taking the front end of this three-game season series against the Nets. You look at the stats and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for the professor. He did it all tonight, making an impact with more than his scoring as he racked up a triple-double. Jefferson's checked in for Brooklyn. Brian Roberts comes in for Williams. That's good from Harris. And good on the second, so it makes them both. 103 left to play here in the fourth. His fourth foul, and I'm sure he picked it up a little earlier than he would have liked. The first free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. And so it's Detroit with the ball. Drummond gets the screen from Harris. And Drummond kicks to McCallum. The feed's a single. Here's Harris on the high post. He drills it. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now thanks to this spurt. Just keep on firing, man. No reason to slow down now. Outside Jefferson. Rebound by the Pistons. Very poor shot selection there, guys. Outside Harris. we got 22 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And Detroit has possession. Here's Roberts. He's covered by a singler. And the professor picks up the foul. That'll be foul number five on him. And due to the bonus, will be headed to the free throw. The first one falls for him. And Brooklyn making a change here. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's McCallum. Harris outside. He dishes it to Drummond. Back to Harris. From T. Misses there. And so Detroit takes this one by a big mark. Sunday's Park, everything goes right for a team, and they just did one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, The Professor.